What's up guys, Sinister Stalker here for a new video. In this video, as you see, I just got myself a little boom, haircut trim. I needed one for a while now, so I got beard lined up, hair trimmed up, fade going, bam. So I'm over here at the mall right now. I'm gonna go in there, you know, today's DVD, Blu-ray, 4K Tuesday. So I'm gonna go over there, cut through the mall. I'm gonna cut through my old job. Right there at JC Penny. So I'm gonna just cut through that way, go to the mall, check out the FYE. And also toward the end of this video, I have a few titles I wanna talk to you about. A couple of them come out next week. I'm gonna talk about them now early in case you wanna get a head start and get them and pre-order them. So I'll talk about those in a little bit toward the end of the video. Let's go inside here and peep out my old job and see what they have at the mall. The old job from uh, many years ago, the good old JC Penny. Uh, yeah, let's go inside that way. <laughs> let's go through the men's part, my old stomping ground, see what they got that's new. Some t-shirts, some novelty tees. Airwalk, when did Airwalk come back? Remember Airwalks, the shoes? I remember those from back when. I think I got some here from way back when. I know they're coming back. They're old rest here. That's where I would be. Oh, shoot. Now in the mall, look at the staples of the mall. Of course, you know, Spencer's going to have that. It's like, why is it still there? It's pretty cool. And of course, go to FYE, which is over this way, and see what they have going on in there. And as I go and I see like this bin full of clearance items, see what they might find anything interesting in here. 72 cent hand sanitizers. If you're looking for them, they have them here. They got some DVDs, some Blu rays. Not much I'm seeing I really want to get, but not bad. And down here, I see something from the Christmas story. Three bucks for this. Might be kind of cool just to get before, you know, Christmas, this upcoming year, of course. But I don't know if I want that. But it's still pretty cool. Three bucks. Maybe. Maybe. But other, other odds and ends, too. Up here, like, for three bucks, because probably it's about to expire. You got the uh, Care Bears cereal. Three dollars. Um, Care A Lot Crunch. You know what? Maybe, maybe I should just buy some of this. It's, it's kind of cool, you know? The Care Bears. I mean, how can you not, you know, go off the Care Bears? You get that, you get power, powered toast man and some other odds and ends for like three dollars. It's like cheaper than regular cereal and it's special cereal. I might have to get one. And down below they have this stuff called sour slime candy spoon inside lid. So you just you eating like sour liquid slime. I would definitely dig this as a kid, but I don't want it now, but it's kind of cool. Check out some of the horror era. Look at that Friday the 13th canvas. That's pretty neat looking. And I got some just some basic DVDs right here. I can't believe these are some of these are like eight, nine bucks. They should be a dollar, two, three dollars maybe. But that's a pretty cool steel book. Here's a shout factory section. Look at this uh, steel book, a breakfast club. Creep show. That's pretty neat. But he said the price here are always kind of a bit high. But sometimes you find some good deals. Most of the time they're kind of high. But pretty neat to see this stuff though in person. All right, so I did get the uh, Care Bears cereal box. You know the cereal for three dollars. I kind of get that. What the heck? Now I'm going to go over here and check out Walmart. And of course, you could have the Wetzel's pretzel at the mall. In a, in a mall, they don't have a Wetzel's pretzel, but let's go see what they have in here. I go up here, the uh, escalators are uh, broken. I just hope they don't collapse while I walk up these things. It's a little bit scary, dude. A little bit scary. I think I'm taking the elevator when I go back down. <laughs> I see like plenty of like weird horrible death videos of people get falling in, on escalators and like getting all chewed up so I, I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm going to take that next. Let's check out some of the new releases. I'm not really sure what came out that I really didn't check. But we got dash cam. I think that might be new. It might be kind of a cool. It's like a like a real life down footage movie with the dash cam attached to it. Oh yes. That looks like an old scream set right there. The long night. Some of these ones look like I think they've been out for a while but I don't totally know. So I'm going to all the time. We got X up over here. Infinite, that, was, that movie was all right. I got that review copy. But most of the stuff, it looks like it's behind the glass, you know, which is kind of a pain in the butt because you can never really get a hold of people to take out the movie you want. And plus, it's like kind of a pain to like, you know, ask for help. And you got like go you know, through each one or something like that. So it's not good. So it's kind of a pain. It's not bad. 26 bucks for Halloween 4K. I do have to upgrade and get that sometime, but I'm going to wait a little bit more. I do have that Blu-ray set. Oh yeah, wink, wink. But sometime I will get, of course, because you're always gonna buy it, like Evil Dead and all that other stuff. Some of the movies go buy and buy and buy again and again and again. I will get that eventually, Halloween. Probably when it gets close to Halloween time. So I just left the movie area. I'm just kind of cutting through the uh, grills and stuff. I'm not that really busy. I can actually walk around and not be totally chaotic, which is nice. So that's a cool thing. But I'm just, just kind of walking around aimlessly. I left Walmart, I think in there I wanted to get movie-wise. Just looking around with some other stuff. I was thinking I might get like a new shower curtain thing, but nothing there I wanted. So I just ordered through the Amazon deal going on. Probably get it tonight. But it's kind of, just kind of like walking in the mall. So it's always nice in the little indoor mall down now. Now, do you guys have some indoor malls by you? So some of these places close up. But I was wondering if you guys have some still. Not many people here, so it feels nice to just walk around the mall and 
not that busy. Oh, that's interesting. They have a five below here at the mall. Let's go check it out. Those have like weird things for five bucks and below. Here we are inside. Those have interesting things. A lot of beach stuff right now. Boogie boards, five bucks. Pretty cool deal. Some mugs, little cups. I like those. And over here, lots of candy. They have a ton of candy here. In case you're going to movies or whatever, want to get some old school candy like Jolly Ranchers and stuff and more. Great spot. They have all kinds of stuff. As you can see, gummies, pop rocks. Bunch of things to make your teeth rot are in here. <laughs> Gummies, look at these. On this side, they got some old candies. Like, check these out. Peanut chews and mellow cups. And then right over here, just check out the weird cheap toys. See if they have anything up here. If I was a kid, I would definitely dig these because I would get all this stuff. Like, mom, let's get some of these toys. Mom probably get it for me. Micro machines. When do you see those? It'd be a long time. Weird looking Mr. Potato Head. What the heck kind of potato head is that? And up here, Cap Gun and all oh, look at these haven't seen those in so long gotta love a good old cap gun and next to that they have these really small skateboards interesting all the led needs for your toilet paper if you want to get one you can make your toilet paper light up as you wipe what i'm getting some leds these might have to be a must just to have my place now i mean i'm just maybe all right so leaving the mall now and five below i didn't get anything in there but pretty cool place just to check out so it was that neat little Interesting knickknacks in there. So now I'm gonna head over to Best Buy, which is like over there. Our next spot we're going to, good old Best Buy. Yeah, I figure what the heck, See right? See what is out, what is new, and things like that. And let's go do it. Here we go, the good old new releases section. Wow, that's a heck of a deal right there. Untouched, is that, is that true? Oh, that's for Greece for $6.99. Still a good deal, I thought it was like, that's, that's an amazing deal if it was that. Here's like all the supposed new releases sort of in the last month or so, or probably more jumbled up. Um, we got this side up here, trying to see what I see that might be new. We got this one. Um, I was like, I think Mickey Rourke, right? Yeah, Angel Heart. I think this just came out today, I believe. This one looks kind of cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. Nice steel book for uh, 20 bucks. So this came out today too on steel book. Ann Jones, Temple of Doom. I wasn't sure I was going to get a review copy of this. I do have the other one, um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. For review i didn't get that one though so i don't know if i am or not i'm not totally sure to leave in best buy music everywhere all the stores so sorry for all the voiceover stuff but hey it is what it is but now let's just uh, get out of this area and uh see where i go bam i am back home now i mean i'm, I'm gonna shower because you know when you, sh you get a hair can you get the, the hairs or like you know the little hairs and they come off so i gotta shower up and after that let's do some review so shower up and after that when, when i come back movie review time Bam! Out of the shower, I am now. Boom, boom, boom. After shaved up, hair washed up, bam. Look at that. Oh, watch out, watch out, ladies. Watch out, ladies. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm a single, so, you know, any ladies out there, you know, we can, we can go out. But anyway, now to the movie reviews. All right, on to the reviews right now. Nice little stack of some movies up here from a couple companies. Actually, a few companies I want to talk to you about. I'm going to start off with Paramount Pictures. And uh, actually, these ones come out next Tuesday, a week from today on the 19th. I'm just kind of doing this a little bit early for some of these ones because I have a, some more stack of some stuff coming in this week probably to review. And I want a gigantic pile of things. And plus, like one, this one right here in particular I'm going to talk about. I want you guys to get an early start on in case you have to pre-order it and whatever because it might sell out. And that is this right up here. The 25th anniversary edition of Good Burger on Steelbook. Blu-ray right there. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? So yes, good old like that Keenan and Kel up there. Goodness, remember from them from all of that. This is the movie on their sketch comedy show back in the 90s up here. So good, good stuff from 1997. Uh, fun, cheese, goodness, memories is this. Got the little, take off the J card up there. There you go. This has no commentary, unfortunately, but you do get the original episode of Good Burger um, from the All That sketch on there. And so that is cool. You can also get a, a digital download copy in case you want to watch it, you know, TV or digital download, but this beautiful still book. Look at that. And look at the back. Keenan and Kel with the orange soda. Super cool. Just fun stuff. This has uh, Simbad in it. It's, you know, uh, it crashes into the car. Simbad has to get a summer job. So he gets a job working with you know, Gib Burger and they uh, become friends and stuff. You have Karma Electra in this thing too. She's like Tottenham. I was a big Karma Electra fan. Back in the day, I have a post in my room, a calendar, and all that. So she's in this. 
looking amazing. Bam. Oh, yeah. But yeah, just fun stuff. Good cheese is this. And against them, against Mondo Burger, Cross Street and them want to take over Good Burger. It's like, the, what's going to happen, you know? But just fun, old school Nickelodeon vibes is this all the way out and all that and more. But yeah, here's right there. Welcome to Good Burger. Welcome to Good Burger. Can I take your order? Check that out with more of that the secret sauce goodness that makes them more popular than Mondo Burger. Oh, yes. But yeah, just some good fun is this Good Burger. Amazing looking still book up there. There is the spine. Definitely a great one to have in the collection. It looks great on Blu-ray. Sounds great too. Definitely if you're a fan of this, awesome collector's edition is this for sure to have. And last up here from Paramount is this one. You get the good old Reno 911, the hunt for QAnon here on DVD. This also comes out next Tuesday, a week from today on the 19th. This one's just a funny episode up here. You have, also, they have Tangley that sees in this thing. It has them on this mystery cruise, the QAnon cruise. And it has them trying to figure out what is going on on this free cruise through the Reno, Reno 911 cast. And you get some great stuff. Fun humor, what's going on with the stuff they talk about. Definitely great. If you're a fan of Reno 911, the show, great one is this to have in the, in the collection to check out. Brand new movie right here. Uh, just just good good fun stuff up here is this uh, yeah, good one right here. Super fun. And next up here from Blue Underground and also brought to you by MVD Entertainment is this one, a Larry Cohen film here on 4K, which I never even heard or saw before until I got this to review. And that is God Told Me To here. Great hidden gem movie is this. When I got this review and I just put it on my Instagram, a lot of people are saying it's a great one to check out. Great hidden gem. Watched it. Couldn't agree with you guys more. Is a good one. Is this all these crazy things that go on in New York? Like it starts off with this guy on a rooftop, which is kind of creepy because like nowadays all this different you know shootings and stuff like that. It kind of it's all these shootings going on. It's shooting people and stabbing people. And this cop goes in the shooting spree and everything else goes on. It goes crazy. And you get this detective that's on the on the cases of all these things going on. What's happening? Everyone's saying God told me to. And it's this bizarre stuff of bizarre alien insemination, just crazy things and like demon type stuff and things like that to take over, uh, start taking him over and all the people around him. It's just this interesting one up here. Pretty dang cool horror flick is this. Kind of a crime, crime kind of like a horror crime caper is this. Definitely pretty dang cool. Uh, 1970s style, loaded up with a lot of features in this thing. Got a commentary track up over here, uh, behind the scenes stuff, footage, archival interviews, and more loaded up here on beautiful 4K. Here is the slip to show us like more inside. But definitely a really cool one is this. Absolutely just kind of strange movie, great one. Bizarre stuff, like I said earlier, happening in this film. Uh, definitely, if you like interesting, bizarre horror films, this is a cool one to check out. If you like stuff like Exorcist kind of stuff, things like that, that's kind of right up this alley too. Not exactly like an Exorcist movie, but that kind of like possession and weird occult stuff happening. Um, definitely neat. And you get that Blu-ray, and you also have the 4K right up over here. Uh, definitely, definitely pretty cool. So I definitely highly recommend this one. I said, I've never seen this one before until I got this to review. And definitely a great hidden gem is this, Larry Cohen film is God Told Me To. From the MVD visual line is this, Monday Morning. Uh, I've never heard of this one or seen something before until I got this. It almost has a uh, made-for-TV vibe when you see the credits of it. Uh, the movie, how it starts and how it ends. It's pretty interesting, but it's like an 80s flick. And this guy, uh, main actor named the uh, movie, uh, Bobby, he's going on the wrong side of the tracks. His dad hits him. It's horrible. He's constantly always, his family always moves. He's, he's kind of an outsider. And then they get this one guy uh, named James of the school, because they're both in high school. He's like the popular guy. His dad's like the mayor of the town or whatever. And he hates him. He, like, he bullies him. It's, it's this horrible stuff going on. And then Bobby, the outsider, dates that guy's sister. And James finds out. And he hates it. He wants to do whatever he can to stop them from seeing each other. So one day, he pulls a gun on him on a Monday morning at school to scare him. But things go awry. And Bobby ain't going to take it anymore. And pretty much has like the, the all the students uh, in this classroom held hostage and stuff like that is interesting. Very like it's it's like it's it's pretty well acted at times, and sometimes the acting's over the top and very melodramatic and really kind of cheesy. 
but really good music in this thing. Very 80s. A lot of uh, ad placement in this movie. Like, there's so much ad placement, like Pizza Hut, Mountain Dew, Pepsi, uh, Nissan, and so much more ad placement in this movie as only the 80s could have it. But definitely a pretty cool one. It's almost like a made-for-TV vibe in a sense. Something you would watch at home like an after, after school special. But like PG-13 style on the cusp of R is this. Um, pretty dang good. Pretty good stuff is this one. I feel like kind of like 80s style flicks. It's definitely a great one to have in the collection. Look at that awesome slip case. You got a commentary track on here and a trailer and so much more. Here's the other... Uh, alternate title class of fear and here's looks it looks like inside you can know you can also switch out which I have the original uh, artwork on here you got the commit newly commissioned artwork you want to do that too and you also have a poster in here poster of the newly commissioned artwork I love how that artwork looks but I said this is definitely a pretty cool one as this says some of it's a little bit over the top a little bit cheese but that's okay I like that it has that charm to it 80s charm which I do adore and that's this what that's what this has definitely a pretty cool one interesting flick is this one for sure that is Monday morning or aka class of fear and at last but not least from the MVD line is this one that is highball up here a uh, 90s late 90s comedy like indie comedy is this has uh, Eric Stolz's thing uh, but it's just a trippy weird one is this pretty dang cool it's like this guy that wants to, he throws these massive parties. So he throws these three parties in one year, these massive parties, like a Halloween party, birthday party, and New Year's Eve party. And there's like wacky things go on with them and their friends, Eric Stoltz and his thing, magician things. This is this wacky stuff is this. Of all these different events happening. And it's like, it's a late 90s style. So it's pretty cool. Has a nice vibe to it. Very fun to pop on this one with some friends on the TV. Even if, like, if you're doing like a little party too, put this on the background. That would be a great one just to have in the background. So definitely pretty cool. This one has some uh, making of, a commentary, a trailer, and so much more in this. Pretty dang cool. So I never heard this one before until I got this to review. Really dang good cast. I'll read off some of the names. You get Ali Sheedy, Eric Stoltz, Dean Cameron, Peter Bardanovich, and so much more in this thing. So you have a lot of people from the 80s and 90s of actors in this film. Indie comedy goodness. So it's a great comedy gem out there to check out. And that is Highball. And that's it for my movie review. So if you want to get all these titles, ads, and more links down below here in this video, of course. So some of these ones come out next week, like I said earlier, on the 19th. I think a couple of these ones are available now, but most of them are available next week. So sorry about that. I just want to kind of put it out there a little bit early, but give you guys a little head start of what to get and that kind of thing. In case you're interested in these titles, you're not, even not sure if they're coming out or not. You just, now, now you're knowing about it. Now you can pre-order them now and have them when they come out next week. So if you're trying to hunt for them or whatever. So it's kind of why I do a little bit early like that. Now back to the rest of this video. Back to the reviews. And as you can see, I did pick up the Carrie Bears. Carrie Lock Crunch for $3. I mean, why not, right? I mean, it has Carrie Bear Goodies Marshmallows and retro goodness galore. Oh yeah, I just want to show you guys that. I did, I did get that. Three bucks, how, how, how could you go wrong? Which does it for this video. So if you guys like this video and enjoyed it and things like that, enjoy what I do, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And also check me out on TikTok. I do have a TikTok. I'm trying to post more content on there. It's still a little bit new to me. Still a little bit new to TikTok goodness. But I want to put some funny different stuff out there. Different kind of content is on that that I'm trying to do. So check it out. Just, you know, look up Sinistalker. Link down below too for that. Just so if you're on TikTok, just look up Sinistalker. It's only me. The only one there is me. So you get my mug. You see me doing some wacky, weird things. Little weird sketches and other things on that platform that I just do on there. So I'm starting to do it. It's kind of fun. So check it out if you like. And I'll catch you later on the next video. I'll see you then. And bye-bye.